A few weeks ago, Natural England and Basque released a report about the effects on the environment of game bird shooting. It is positive to the point where it says banning shooting is a bad idea. The only negative comment is gamekeepers and estate owners could harm the environment if they don't stick to best practices, which they nearly all do. At the weekend, RSPB released its own report on the same topic, but came up with the opposite opinion, despite using virtually the same information. It's threatening to call for a ban on shoots if the government doesn't do what it says over the next five years. The review gets a strong response from the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust. As a conservation organisation, work with farmers, fishermen, foresters, whoever, in order to improve the world that we live in. But we'll do it in a collaborative way. We're not going to turn around and say, if you don't do this, I'm going to find the biggest stick I can and hit you. The conservationist job is to recognise that in a working countryside, we need economic land uses. And alongside that, we've got to fit the wildlife. And people want to do that, but they're not going to do it if you shout at them. They're not going to do that if you bully them. Top of the RSPB's list of reforms is game bird releases, which it claims are too big and the surplus birds damage the environment. Moorland Association Director Amanda Anderson disagrees. The only thing the RSPB would say that is not regulated already, perhaps, is uh, the way that we actually count and harvest the grouse. Um, and that other countries, you're licensed so that you don't overtake, over, over harvest. But that's, that's hunters going onto land where they don't manage it and they don't know what's there in terms of a population. It's incredibly difficult, different, sorry, on a grouse moor where you have the same area of land counted every year, twice a year, you know exactly what the population is on there and therefore what is a surplus to harvest, um, leaving a healthy breeding stock for the following year. RSPB is also calling for a ban on muirburn, which it claims plays havoc with the environment. They also were playing fast and loose with the evidence, so saying um, that heather burning actually increases flooding. There's literally no evidence to support that claim. This is a new, if you like, just a line, line to take with the hope that if it gets repeated enough times, that um, at some stage somebody will associate and assume that it is true. It was an extraordinary press release that mixed up just fire, any kind of fire that made people think fire is bad. And again, that's cherry picking and, and it is rhetoric. It is trying to get people to think something and vote with their feet immediately because it sounds bad and damaging. Another accusation RSPB slings at the shooting community is raptor persecution, which it is using as the basis for wanting game bird shoots to need licenses to operate. The whole licensing argument for the RSPB actually hinges around whether they their failure to prosecute people using the existing criminal legislation, and they now want to have a civil burden of proof, which is um, just on balance of probability rather than, rather than beyond reasonable doubt. The historical data has given them a figure of 70% of gamekeepers will gain interest connected to prosecutions in court. Um, fair enough, if that's their data. But actually, if you look at the last 10 years only, that drops to 12%, and that equates, as you just said, to actually probably one a year. That's hardly, I think, a case to call for legislation on a particular issue. Um, an issue that we are adamant we are going to sort out and stamp out completely. RSPB also wants a lead ban, which GWCT and Moorland Association have already called for. The organisations say existing regulations and legislation cover most of what RSPB is demanding. Shooting and landowning organisations call the RSPB's Game Bird Review inaccurate, partisan and based on ideology, not science. Surely it's for the RSPB to do what the people of Britain say, not the other way around.